Welcome back fellow astronomers, my name is Eric Solnerhurst with Astrophotography at Board of Five. And today I want to talk about clusters. Stars normally travel through space in orbits or paths that have been influenced by gravity. The vast majority of stars reside in galaxies that contain hundreds of thousands of stars. Some stars travel through interstellar space, they're called rogue stars or interstellar stars, and still others travel in clusters. This year I've been able to image three different clusters that I would like to share with you. Stars can be found in clusters, both open and globular clusters. Open clusters contain around a few dozen to a few hundred stars. They're found in spiral and irregular galaxies and have different ages of stars from young to old and they're pretty small. These open clusters really don't last very long and can disperse after tens to a hundred million years pretty short in the time frame of the galaxy. Recently, I took a picture of an open cluster called Messier 41 or NGC 2287 known as the Little Beehive Cluster. The Little Beehive Cluster is around 2,300 light years away located in the constellation Canis Major, which is Latin for the greater dog. It contains around 100 stars, some of which are red giants and others are just white dwarfs. And even though Messier 41 was discovered by the Italian astronomer Giovanni Battista Hoderna before 1654, it could have been discovered as early as 325 BC by the Greek philosopher and scientist Aristotle. Another open cluster I was able to capture earlier this year is Messier 44 or NGC 2632 called Precipe, which is Latin for the crib or the manger or also the Beehive Cluster, a larger version of the open cluster I just described. In 1609, an Italian philosopher, mathematician, and astronomer, Galileo Galilei, took a rudimentary telescope and saw 40 stars. Can you imagine Galileo reacting to this image that can be seen from a light polluted suburban backyard? This star cluster contains around a thousand stars and of this writing, six planets have been discovered in this open cluster. Globular clusters are the big boys of clusters. They're spheroid in shape, much larger, and contain hundreds of thousands of stars, all tightly packed in an area. And they're old, billions of years old. And typically the composition of the stars are low metals, suggesting they're pretty close to the first generation of stars that were born in the early universe. This past July, I took a picture of my first globular cluster, the Hercules Globular Cluster. The Hercules Globular Cluster, also designated Messier 13 or NGC 6205, is located 2,300 light years away. It contains an estimated of 300 to 500,000 stars packed across 145 light years in diameter. And the estimated age of this globular cluster is around 11.65 billion years old. The British astronomer Edmund Halley discovered this globular cluster in 1714 without the aid of a telescope. He must have some pretty good eyes. So far, 150 known globular clusters have been discovered in the Milky Way galaxy. In 1974, scientists sent an encoded radio message to the globular cluster through the former Arecibo telescope on information about humanity, our DNA, atomic numbers, and Earth's position. It's just going to take 22,200 years for them just to receive this message. Stars are fascinating. In this video, we reviewed clusters, both open and globular clusters. Open clusters tend to be smaller, contain 10 to hundreds of stars, they're mixed age, and generally are pretty young themselves. Globular clusters are very large, contain hundreds of thousands of stars that are very old, and the whole globular cluster itself is in terms of billions of years old. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until next time, thanks for joining me on Astrophotography at Portal 5.